Hello, my empowered souls. Welcome to Empowered by Divine. My name is Melody Rose, and I am your earthly star seed. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a reading for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine for the new moon that we are currently going into. The Virgo for uh, full moon is happening September 17th, depending on where you are in the world. Here where I am, it's at its peak tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Um, it's going to deliver a much needed dose of practicality and focus, um, and it's going to be allowing us to see what we need to change about our everyday routines, uh, I, I guess to feel more grounded. Um, I have some channeled songs that came through for the collective. I was sitting down, I was just about to get up and, um, sorry, just about to do this reading and they said, get up, listen to the radio. So I went out to my kitchen and I turned the radio on and I got, <laughs> I didn't listen to it all actually I just thought what a kind of funny song to ask me to turn that on but it's Jared Neiman drink all night and the message I feel like this is for a few of you um, could be actually particular couple people but it's a song about kind of going out and just having fun and I have this sense of how it made me feel was excited, um, exhilarated, felt like there was some sort of celebration in order. Um, you know, the sense that I got that you may get an invite um, from your counterpart to go out for a drink, maybe dinner. Um, but it was a very fun, loving energy to that song. So I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, so when I went, I came to the computer to see actually who sang that to get onto the list of uh, the radio um, list that was playing. And the next song that was playing was called Found. So I Googled it and I definitely know that this one is for the collective because I had a vision, if you follow me on Facebook, um, I, I actually posted this. I don't think I posted it on my Instagram, but um, I was meditating on, because I'm actually moving, but uh, I was meditating and they showed me this. This is what I envisioned. This is what they showed me the other day. And my post said something crazy like, I, you know, I hope I, you know, I'm meditating on a ho house and they show me a tree house. I hope that's not where I'm going to end up. But now I'm seeing the bigger picture here because in that song found by Dan Davidson, um, there's actually exactly what they showed me in my vision in this video. Um, and I'm just going to pull up some of the lyrics to it. Um, oh shoot, I lost them because I, I um, pulled up something else. Anyhow, it was it's a really fun, upbeat song uh, talking about, you know, finding the one that um, you love and kind of having this epiphany moment of wanting to, um, you know, get married, have ki kids, live in the country, um, you know, settle down, that sort of energy. Um, and again, I, this treehouse, I know it doesn't really look like a treehouse, but that's, it was actually on the ground, but this is what they showed me in my vision was in that song. So I definitely feel it's for the collective that I'm a part of. Um, however, when I went to go Google the lyrics to this song, another song came up, which is, my lights are going, so I feel that this is relevant. Um, found by Stevie, St sorry, Steven Universe. And I feel like it's two different energies. We have the masculine energy with this song found by uh, Dan Davidson, which is talking about, you know, I've had this epiphany of who I love, who I want to be with, you know, you're the one, you know, having, go, walking through those emotions of feelings, right? Uh, and then we have the other energy with this other song. Um, and I feel like it's the divine feminine's energy. Um, but I feel like you're going to meet together and have this celebration with that other song coming in. But again, it's not for everybody, but it is for somebody here in the collective because I did have that vision of that tree house. But I'll read you some of these lyrics from the feminine. It says, someday, somewhere, somehow, I'll love again. You just need to find someone. Someday, somewhere, somehow, I'll love again. I just need to find someone. Sorry, I guess that was a repeated paragraph. Um, someone who treats me better, someone who wants me around. Today, right here, right now, I already feel found. So it's like this 
really crazy energy that the feminine is like really trying to pick her own path of love, wanting to be treated a certain way and wanting to embark on that journey. And if it isn't her masculine, that she's ready to do that. And I feel for the most of the collective, I feel that's where you're going. But I can't even explain this energy that I'm in right now. It's like excitement and it's it's thrilling it's like these two songs i feel like i'm in the masculine's energy um which typically the masculine's energy no offense masculines to who you know who are watching um are usually typically uh a lot more confused um but anyhow let's dive in let's see what comes out in the cards i will put a timestamp for those that don't like to hear the channeled messages but i always suggest that you listen to them because um, usually there's something there for you guys, right? Check me out on Instagram and um, Facebook as well because I do happen to put a lot of my synchronizations there. Okay, so what do we want to do first? I'm going to do masculine on this side, feminine on this side. The energy is like, I'm, wow, look at that. The fool on the bottom. That's that energy. That's like, this is like the, ex wow, like, look, of wish fulfillment. It's It's making the decision. And look, here we have, look. The feminine walking away before the offer comes in wow okay this is a new moon oh that energy strong somebody's having an epiphany here of who they truly love uh, for some of you here on this channel and it's very strong I don't know if they're gonna hold back their emotions much longer Ooh. Yeah, they're having the strength here, I feel. Okay, let's see. Can I see what the masculine's trying to manifest with his feminine, please, through this new moon? What is he trying to manifest? What's he trying to manifest, please? What's he trying? Oh, yeah. Overall energy and offer. Let's see what else come out. So chariot, um, yeah, making the decision to, I feel like, break down these walls, that energy that I've been feeling with that defensiveness, that pushback energy that we've had for the, for the masculine to make the decision to move past it. Okay, and make an offer here of some of some sort. Uh, somebody is feeling sad, though, feeling left out a little bit in the cold here. I mean, it could be because the feminine is, is kind of pushed away. And, and um, for some of you that have um, ended things or, um, you know, you're, you're pulling back your energy, that sort of thing, it has left the masculine um, sad and feeling left out here. Yeah, they feel like they missed out on something here. It's kind of making them want to charge forward to you, though. I'm not taking reversals in these as I'm asking these questions. What's the feminine trying to um, manifest here for the new moon cycle with her masculine here? What's the feminine trying to manifest? My head is very... The energy. Now I'm feeling... Wow, it's like it's switched. My, my, now my head's feeling very heavy and I have a headache about this relationship yeah you're stressed out you're like i just want to move on my head my it's too much you know i want to take back fast, fast action in my own life like that song suggests you know i'll find somebody who wants to love me yeah you cut him out queen of swords in this deck for me is no bullshit you're gonna you're gonna let this masculine know how to be treated and it to treat you and if you don't want um, if the masculine doesn't want to come correct, you're going to put the burden down. Okay. What's she trying to manifest with him? What does she want truly in her heart? What is she trying to manifest with him? <laughs> come back out. You're, you don't want to put up. You're, you're putting your boundary. This is your boundary. This is saying I don't. I need to be treated a certain way or we can't move forward. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. 
yeah, I we need to heal certain things between us, and I want us to build together. But it has to be in the correct manner. Because why you've been waiting for a very long time for the masculine to show his emotions. And I feel deep down you are trying to, um, you're saying take them. So all the while that you're doing this, you're still hoping and wishing for the love. Um, and I feel like, oh my gosh, I can't even. So you guys know, if, you, if you're on my channel, that this is the um, energy of the karmic or karmic situation for you and your person okay uh, it doesn't have to be another woman um, but or man because it's just energy but you are trying to manifest the masculine to walk away completely uh, and also heal that relationship too um, if you watch three videos back you'll see major healing going on through the collective for all three parties okay um, so the feminine's really trying to manifest this um, almost an ultimatum in some sort of way but it's like not in a nasty way it's just i know clearly what i want and if you can't give it to me and you can't build and come correct then i don't want it all a while she's still trying to manifest the emotional fulfillment with her masculine i'm taking this as the masculine the ace of cups right and she's also manifesting healing and um separation fully between these two um or like, you know, a disconnect at the heart space where, you know, it's karmic energy and it's not good for anybody's situation and help the masculine get out of his ego space. Wow, that was a lot of messages. I feel like I need to get one on this seven of uh, wands here. What's going to happen is, is he going to be able to push past this? I have the chariot card here. So it looks like he's moving. Yeah, he is. Wow. Four of Wands. Ace of Wands. Two of Cups. And there's that, there's the marriage card. That's that energy of that song that I just heard uh, found by David Davidson. You know, he found, the, he has found the one that he, he, he loves. And he's starting to realize it. And I think it's because finally, Feminine, you had a little bit of time to set some boundaries with him. And all along, you're still manifesting what it is you really want. You know, whether it's with him or not, you're manifesting. So you're saying, you know, if it's for everybody's higher good, then let it be. And then if it's the masculine that comes in, awesome. And if it's not, it's going to be somebody pretty great, right? But uh, the masculine is trying to... He's pushing past this defensive energy. Uh, there's been a lot of pushback energy. He's he's coming out of it. He sees. Like I can't make those. Can't make those up. He sees. Look at that. He also sees the karmic hurt. For what it is. Look at this. And he sees what this relationship is. The Six of Cups. This is past life. This is reconciliation. This is childhood friends. Maybe went to school together. He grew up together. It's all. It's different for everybody. But this is my. This is the soul connection card for me as a reader. Um, and you probably have lived many lives together. Okay. Look at this. I can't even. Wow. So when you walked away, feminine. That's you being independent. It broke his heart. But there's a different energy here between you two, okay, than there is him and the Queen of Wands. He knows that that Queen of Wands has always broke his heart. That's what he's trying to heal from right now so he can come in and what? Celebrate. There's another marriage card. Another celebration card. Wanting to move forward. Move past all this pain and hurt. And what? have the wish fulfillment of what an emotional fulfillment the ten of cups is an emotional fulfillment it's you know it's on a spiritual level but it's emotional it's love it's true love and passion look at this we have passion and then we have love wow it's a lot of energy right out of the gate 
that's that energy that I'm feeling though. It's like this sense of excitement and discovery that the masculine is in right now. It's off the chart. Like I can't even. You just watch me shuffle those. Same energy. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to get one of these cards for each of you. Masculine energy, please. Masculine energy overall. Masculine energy overall, please. Masculine energy overall, please, for this new moon. Oh, that's too many, guys. Arrow wants to show knowing their direction. Knowing their direction. Wanting to pull back, shoot, aim, and hit the target. You know, in a, in a nice way, right? The, you are the target, Divine Feminine. One for the masculine, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. The arrow. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Oh my gosh, he knows where his journey is. He knows the direction of his heart. He knows where to go. He knows it's with you. Um, if he hasn't said this to you, I'm telling you, for a lot of you, you're going to be asked out. Like, you know, let's go out. Let's go for dinner. Let's have a good time. Let's celebrate. I want to be with you. He knows. Three, build foundations that's like collaborating in life that's living together that's maybe a business together that's just collaborating in a sense of union being you know two people that come together and work on this relationship together I can't even he knows his path he also knows that this is a spiritual connection. The tree of life for me is where we're rooted in the ground in the 3D, but we're, the branches, you know, are, are uh, up into the, the 5D. And we're connected at the root in the, and we're connected at the, um, the spiritual realm. And we've gone through lots of transformation to figure it out. And 58, well... 58 for me as a reader is take the lead. Divine Masculine is getting ready to finally take the lead. They've been in healing mode for a long time. They've been trying to figure out how to heal their past connections with these karmic situations. If you guys aren't here yet, it's happening. The healing is happening. Okay, you guys have to put yourselves where you are in this timeline. Okay, not everybody's on the same timeline. Yeah, the hummingbird. He wants to be present with you. Wow. Feminine, please. I can't believe that card came out again. Thank you, Spirit. I mean, I can believe it. Some pretty crazy stuff happens around in this house. Flow. I've seen that twice now. Um, I feel like the em energy of the feminine is going with the flow. And I got wind. Going with the breeze. Being able to... Look to her journey oh my goodness that's beautiful it's like this sense of trust the process knowing that whatever she's trying to manifest is going to come to fruition and if the masculine can't show up for her somebody else will because that's how we manifest and I almost feel like that's why the masculine was in that five of cup energy because he knows that his feminine is worthy of love true love respect you know being honored he knows the moon yeah the feminine can i have one for the feminine please the sun there he is the masculine showing up in your energy huh but the sun card in this deck is when the feminine the some people say that the sun, the masculine energy, is the feminine coming into her full power. Wow. That's you coming in. <laughs> I can't even hold on to the cards today. Coming into your full power, knowing your worth, understanding, putting the boundary. Blade. There might be some sexual energy going on between the two of you right now. Can I get one, please? And your spirit guides and teams are all around you. 
One for the feminine. One for the feminine, please, for her. It's too many. Sweat Lodge is showing. One for the feminine, please. It's too many. One for the feminine, please. Just one. I want to jump here, but I just want one. There it is. Thank you. Wow. The rainbow. Oh my gosh, and journey again. So for me as a reader, the rainbow sig signifies the union. Okay, the, the journey. It's like she's going through life right now, making her own journey, and she'll find her right suitor. Um, because you do have to understand that it's not always the masculine um, coming in for us, right? Um, but I can't even. That journey wants to come out for both of you. Let's get one for the union, please. One for the union. One for the joint energy of these two for this new moon. Ooh, I feel like it's this one. Water. Emotion. Showing your emotion. Wow. You guys are very protected. Council. Earth. Some of you are earth signs. Gatherer. Something to do about... I'm getting Thanksgiving. Huh. That's a different message. The invite might be Thanksgiving. Um, in Canada, it's before the U.S. It's coming up pretty quick here in Canada. It's something to do with Thanksgiving. Wow, masculine. Okay, so the masculine might be the one inviting somebody to dinner. It could be for Thanksgiving. That's just a side message that I'm getting. It's not going to resonate with you all. Let's see what characteristic he is exuding right now. I'm seeing teacher. Oh my gosh. What energy? These are being really stubborn to shuffle. Maybe they don't want me to use them. What energy is he exuding? Oh, it's too many. Okay, we have alchemist and then we have vampire. We've gotten this energy with the masculine before and I feel like it's an outer influence in his surroundings. And then we have alchemist transformation of base motives and goals into wisdom. So this is again, this is manifesting. This is being um, powerful in his own uh, outright energy being able to heal and um, so see how this uh, person here is mixing a potion and um, they are also very gifted feminines are usually gifted as well but this person is gifted um, and they do know how to manifest or they're at least they're exuding that they do know that they know how it seems like they're trying to manifest this all coming together. I'm getting this vampire energy. A few readings back, I kept getting this for the masculine. So I'm going to pull some clarifiers on that. Yeah, look at this detective. Great powers of observation and intuition. Desire to seek out the truth. Okay, let's see where the feminine is. What's her overall energy? What's her overall energy? What is she exuding right now? Well, we know she's the Queen of Swords, but what else? I feel this one. Messiah. I'm feeling energy. I don't know what card it is. Okay, thank you. Wow, okay, that makes sense. Preserving knowledge and information. You're holding back. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I have the Messiah serving humanity with humility. So you're a giver. You give to people without wanting anything in return. That is the definition, really, of unconditional love. It's being able to give to somebody without having to want to have something 
brought back to you uh, letting go of the expectation of having something in return you could be of service to uh, the public in some way you could be a volunteer there's something here that you're doing within your community I feel you're just a very giving loving person and then we have destroyer it's in the upright as well and this is so crazy because it says releasing what is potentially destructive preparing for a new life and what have you done you're tired of waiting you're moving forward you're creating your own path you're creating your own life because the way that you were being treated was not the way that you felt that you deserved and rightfully so so then here you're putting your wall up you're creating your balance boundaries and you're releasing it until they want to come in correct for what the union you are trying to manifest love regardless i want to get a um which deck do i want to use if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel please do welcome back to the ones that have it helps to circulate the videos especially if you comment and like the video take a minute right now if you're on your phone exit out and just uh, push the like button I guess we're not on live chat, so you don't have to exit, but. Okay, vampire. Vampire energy, please. Whew, okay. They're leaving it behind. They've taken a lot of time to reflect on this karmic energy. Okay, it's coming out on both sides here. We have it here, and we have it here. Um, and they've taken a moment of peace, quiet, reflection. It's like this energy of now understanding, okay, with the Seven of Cups. Because this is the way that they were before with this vampire energy. It's coming up this way. It's, it's taken them a while, okay, to get what? Clear. Out of the storm. Into the calm. You feminines bring them calm where the, the karmic is i say karmic okay these karmics aren't all bad people but it, it's just the way that us readers say it okay but it's like you know they're human too and they have hearts but it's it's like their relationship was toxic though and you bring them peace you bring them love you bring them balance you bring them emotional fulfillment you bring them peace Because why? They know who their empress is. And they've dropped the ego. It's not about winning anymore. They're saying, I'm walking away. It doesn't matter about winning this person or situation over anymore. They're dropping it. They're done. I'm done. I'm walking away from it. I use this deck for a reason and that's why. Because they understand who their empress is. Who loves them unconditionally why because you're a messiah and that's how you love that's how you give that's who you are as a person you're not just like this with your masculine you're just that way you're a beautiful soul and you're ready to move forward they're ready to move forward they have you know spirit um this is spirit guiding the boat and look what they have in their hand is a cup of love to give to you feminine they're ready to celebrate they're ready to what take you out for a drink that's hilarious but that's the message i'm getting because they want to be balanced they know that they have to come correct though and give you something they can't come up they can't keep turning their back they have to offer you something something good they may be even a little scared that you're going to refuse because it is in the reverse But that's just their ego. Their heart knows that, you know, you want them. Wow. Yeah, look at that. King of Cups. Okay, let's see. So the journey, we have emotional fulfillment and we have counsel. I really feel like I need to read these um, out of this book today for you guys. What did I do with it? I had it earlier for my other readings I was doing here it is sorry 
And guys, I apologize, but the zodiac signs won't be posted. I'm in the middle of a crazy move. I might get the elements done, possibly for this week. Um, which will just be four readings, but I have personals that I'm doing as well. If you guys want to book a personal, you can uh, email me or you can look at my um, subscription on Patreon and you get a 40% discount and you get a monthly reading from me. Once every three months, you actually get a live reading with me on Zoom. Okay, let's read this. This is for the connection. This is for what's coming in for the both of you for this union. And you both got this journey card. And the journey says, The journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it. The journey is not a holiday. It is called to be hermit-like and, and to go pilgrimage into the unknown. There are no maps to your territory. You will be exploring no marked paths or road signs. This is reminding me of trust. <laughs> because if we don't know where we're going, it can be it can feel very scary. But you see how this fella here that he has the owl on the top of his head and that's his intuition. That's his third eye understanding that he needs to trust the process. Let's see what it says. The invitation of this card says the time to embark on the great journey is here. Do not linger in the port when uh, distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational carts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led true, even when you are not sure of where you are going. Oh. Feeling the sense of emotion. Come over me. Because I feel like one or both of you are learning that it's okay to not know every step of this journey. Because when you love so deeply and you feel so much, it's scary. It is the departure that is most important. You miss, if you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. Wow. Wow. That's why the masculine has chosen his direction because he knows, he knows that the feminine is moving in another direction. And that's why he's chosen to get in the boat and not miss the shipment. For many of you that listen to this channel, your, your masculine is on his way in this boat with this offer. And it's going to be one of emotion. With that cup. And then we have water. We saw earth earlier. Water. Uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh, 61. You guys will really have to excuse my nails. I really have not done them. <laughs> I'm on here to read, not look pretty. Okay, so the essence. This card says, Water symbolizes, symbolizes purification, regeneration, birth, revital, and cleansing. It signifies the evolutionary shift from former self to new self. Many myths around the world speak of the great flood and the new life that is revealed after the uh, deluge. Deluge? Sorry, guys. Water begins without boundaries. Wow. Again, that's trust. As soon as form has separated itself from the water, it becomes under the laws of time and life, thus occurring limitations. Hmm. So this is a discovery to oneself. And let's be honest, that's what this journey is all about. If you are in a sacred union, it's usually the feminine that's going to grow and, 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 and figure this out first. Then the masculine's looking at the, to the feminine and he figures it out because she already figured it out. You know, it signifies evolutionary shift 
from self okay to new self this is showing up in the joint energy this is the both of you making the shift doing the healing doing the work okay and then the invitation of the card says when water arrives you're invited to watch your emotions know they are going to be chain changeable and do not settle on conclusion at this time if you feel joy feel that fully if you feel sad allow sadness to move through you water invites you to see the ebb and flow of events and trust you can ride the wave of opportunity when it arises natural flow is here go with it so again this is the sense of being able to trust the flow to move from one thing into another thing in a very natural way so i'm going to close my window because the neighbor is mowing <laughs> And again, though, this is the both of you being able to do this, okay? And it's a really beautiful energy to be able to be present in every moment and every emotion and be okay. That it's okay to feel and have these thoughts and wanting to have boundaries. That's okay. Feel those emotions. Express them in a loving way. You know, masculines, it's okay. To understand and see where you were with this karmic individual and to feel those those emotions they're okay to feel feel your way through them and if they're an energy of you know you know maybe not a, as nice of an energy let's not stew in it okay you do need to be able to at least change up your energy but it looks like you're able to do that you're able to go from one emotion to another and manage the energy and 11 council which is funny 11 is a union number the council let's read that sorry about the lawnmower guys if you can hear it the essence of this card says the council are uh, luminous beings who hold the collective wisdom of humanity. They are the ones before whom you will do your life review when you cross into the world of spirit. A life review is when we place our good and our bad deeds on a divine scale and attempt to why we did not love or forgive or dare as greatly as we might have. So this is like the, um, sorry guys, something's happened with my phone here. Oh, I hope it doesn't die. Sorry, I'm going to pause you. Sorry, guys. I, I hope this doesn't die and I get this done in time. Um, so this is like the judgment card, right? It's going before counsel. Know that their wisdom is available to you at all times when you live in a state of yes and in what unconditional love relationship with life they reminded you of one place around this uh, sacred fire which has been reserved for you since the beginning of time you will claim it when you own your own inner wisdom so again this is this is a sacred journey of two souls coming together for mission whatever that mission is for you guys but it is a sense of claiming it and owning it and it is coming out for the union between the two of you the council has a message for you listen with your inner sense the handwriting is already on the wall so look about you and you will discern its meaning do not wait for further signs embark on the journey to love deeply forgive sincerely and dare greatly keep sorry take the leap without requiring life to assure you of success this is a beautiful card this is a beautiful energy for the both of you to be in because it's like this leap of faith of understanding that you can love unconditionally because all that is in these cups is love Neither of you will plan to hurt one another. You'll work through it. You love each other. Trust. There is a divine counsel watching over you. 
Wow. That was beautiful. I'm glad I read those. Okay, let's see what's coming in for heart space. I'm hoping and praying that my phone does not die. Where's the heart space of Divine Masculine, please? Where's the heart space for Divine Masculine? For his Divine Feminine? What's he feeling? World card. What's he feeling in his heart? Door to values in reverse. He's getting a lot of reversals today. <clears throat> heart space. Whoa. Heart space. Okay, I get it. Thank you. Thank you. He's trying very hard here. Wow, look at that. Journey. At the bottom of the deck, this is the overall energy in his heart. His heart knows where he belongs. His heart knows where he needs to journey to. He knows where he needs to get to. He knows what he needs to do to heal, right? Four swords, that's where we go. We go here to heal. To get to this journey. And he has the world card in the value in reverse. There may be some in his heart space not feeling worthy still to have it all, to have everything. But I, I with the strength card coming out with it, I feel that he's over, this is overpowering these energies. And he's trying to get up the courage, I feel right now, to tell you how he truly feels. We've already seen it here. He knows the direction of where he wants to go. And it is exactly what you're trying to manifest, which is union. Because you love this person unconditionally, even though you won't put up with the bullshit. That's because you love yourself unconditionally. Feminines. Where's the feminine? Wow. Well, he is in your heart space. You love him. You think about him a lot. We have the thinking card on the bottom. Feminine for overall. Feminine for overall heart space, please. How does she feel? Whoa, those come right out. Woman holding a coin. Breathe and grounded. So we have two grounded cards. And I mean, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but that's not really how I'm reading this. How I'm reading this is that you're concentrating on your career and your money. You're concentrating on your foundation of your home, your business, your job, whatever it is for you. And you're also healing and you're taking time of reflection right now in your heart space. You're trying to give your heart a break from the masculine so that you can move on and feel this energy. At the same time, you're still holding space for him because he showed up in your heart space and my ears are ringing. So even though that you're moving forward and you're doing what you're doing, you're holding space for him still in your heart space. And that's not a, necessarily a bad thing. Um, but I feel that in doing this, if the masculine doesn't, for whatever reason, show up, you're going to manifest something pretty amazing. Yeah, a leap of faith in here and now are on the bottom. You're trying to take a leap of faith in your own life right now. Okay, let's see. What are you thinking about? Thank you. What, sorry, masculine. What are you thinking about? Envy. Ooh, okay. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Just give me a minute here. What's the masculine thinking about? I already mentioned this earlier and it's coming out. What's he thinking? <laughs> He's overthinking. Okay. What's he thinking about his feminine? What does he think? What's he overthinking about? What's okay? He wants to be successful with you. Victory is his overall thought space and celebration. Again, this is. This is energy of marriage or just celebrating together of union. And there is a lot of sexual energy between you two. He feels like the third party situation buggered this all up. The energy of this is my third party card. This is like the Queens of, Queen of Wands for me. 
strategy is in reverse and they come out with this woman holding a heart and I feel like he feels that he didn't take care of it properly and it's hurt the relationship but he's saying I want peace third chakra that's the peace card he wants to bring peace to the situation he can't stop thinking about you he is in his head he's watching you he's watching everything that you do this uh, this card too is all it is it's my spy card but it's the envy card and remember how i said the ma the feminine is going to do it all first and then the masculine is going to watch and figure out how to do it and sometimes he's a little envious and he's like how did you get your shit together so fast how were you able to do it because i've been struggling over here trying to heal how did you do it I went around about this all wrong with this person, place, or thing, whatever it is for you, and I see you doing it, so it seems easily for you. We both, we all know feminines, it wasn't easy, but he wants the same, that's what he thinks about, he wants to bring peace to the situation, and that's why, in some ways, maybe he's feeling a little, un, you know, unworthy, because he thought, he's thinking, well, you could do it why couldn't i do it maybe i'm not strong enough right but i do feel that he's going to put that burden down with that strength card there and he's going to communicate to you how he truly feels we've seen that how he truly feels let's see he wants to be victorious he wants to celebrate with you that's that energy that i was getting in that first of that reading with those two songs what is she, what are you thinking about feminines what is the feminine thinking about when it comes to the masculine what does she think and feel oh she feels out of balance with the love so you love him but you feel imbalanced because you feel like he doesn't love you you feel like well where's my blossoming abundance with my masculine wow when are we going to fulfill this contract that we have what's she thinking whoa wow you're thinking you're both overthinking you're mirroring each other you're asking when is it going to be time you both got victory and you got the thinking woman so you're in your thought space a lot as well even though you're concentrating on your work and, and you're being grounded down here you, you do think about being victorious and wondering, is he going to come in in time before what? Before I'm gone. Before I'm gone, is he going to come in? Because I can't wait forever. That's what you're saying. I can't wait forever. When's he going to stop holding back? Look, constraint. Financial constraint for me as a reader and a love read is holding back. When is he going to not hold back? When's he going to break the cycle? When is he going to come in with a new life? When is he finally going to come correct and tell me? how he feels, what he wants, what he can do to make this better. I'm going to get a couple clarifiers on these and then we'll do action, but the union looks beautiful for you guys. Use this to clarify. Um, what's happening with this world card in reverse? and door to value world card in reverse and door to value yeah he okay so he knows he wasn't giving to you properly that's that energy what's he going to do about it we have the strength card he wants to communicate clearly to you and feeling energy yeah he wants to put an end to that energy he wasn't giving to you correctly and he knows it yeah, he's cutting himself free so he can make an offer. Wow. Wow, I'm feeling energy. Yeah. To be who? Be the emperor. He wants forgiveness. He wants to tell you his emotions before it's too late and you're gone. There's the passion. My nose is... Sorry, guys. When I channel, my nose gets really itchy. What's going on with this third party situation, this um, strategy card here? It's like he feels like he's regretful of how he even handled this. There's the peace. Yeah, the queen of cups. And the love offer. Let's see what's coming out here. 
this person could be a Cancer Cor uh, Scorpio Pisces woman holding a heart okay thank you thank you okay so the the drama of it all here there my lights are going so it's true um he went about it wrong he feels there was too much drama between them and his ego was getting in the way we saw that up here it's making sense now so he's the ego is coming out this is how he dealt with this person place or thing drama ego but he's switching it now because we have five five is ten it's a new start wow okay He also knows that there was no, it, there was no start. The fool come out in reverse. And, and when, when one thing ends, another one has to come in. I feel like, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I feel like whoever this person was, he kept offering a cup of love and it was being rejected. Whoever this queen is here was rejecting his cup of love. It wasn't, it wasn't working. And now he realizes this is his peace. Where the offer is the Ten of Pentacles, home. So we have the we had the Ten of Pentacles, or sorry, the Ten of Cups come out, and now we have the Ten of Pentacles, a solid offer. Oh, to you over here, the Queen of Pentacles, which showed up over here. So I'm taking this as you, feminine. Doesn't matter of your sign. But whoever this person was, he kept giving, 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 giving to this person. And it just was always a false start. The fool in reverse. And his ego um, was keeping him stuck in, in returning to all the drama. There was a lot of drama between him and this person. He's envious. Why is he envious? Because, what did I say? You moved on. He's going to come chase you now. He's also envious because you move so quickly in your healing. Wow, yeah, it's making him want to come in for an offer and heal this. He knows he wasn't giving you proper love. He wants to heal that. That's the Ace of Wands in reverse. There's that King of Wands. He's that's the energy that he needs to heal. That in and out energy and finally offer you something of truth, something solid. This king is very, very solid. Okay, so let's see what's his action. What will he what action will he take towards his feminine? Whoa, that come right out. He's in decision mode right now. What will he decide? Wow. He wants to tell you his heart. Of where his wishes are milk and honey that's like to me that's like the union and the nine of cups and the ten of cups all together it's everything milk and honey that you are his treasure and that he wants to heal this I also think he he thinks that other people are not for you and feminine Wow yeah <laughs> You want to heal this too. Wow, we got two healing cards. Okay, hang on guys, slow down. Personal uh, door to healing and happiness. It does say personal though. But then I do have the mending card with two of you. So I feel like if he's going to come in, you may want to take it slow just to make sure you're both healed properly because you get healing twice. But you really do want to go the distance with this person. You've been waiting for this person to come correct. Wow, look at this happy family. You guys could be to the situation... Um, some of you that, um, you know, it's time to move in together with this happy family. It could be um, just taking the relationship to another st um, step altogether. Um, this is just what you want. This is like the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you're both getting it. Look at that. They both have the, the rainbows. Two different decks. Isn't that beautiful? And what are you trying to manifest? Feminines is union. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's get, um, I wanted to use this deck today. 
what are you exuding right now for your feminine energy and i want to see what the masculine's coming into with his feminine energy let's see let's now let's do the masculine first the masculine please thank you anything else any in a nana sorry i cannot pronounce that word in a nana the queen of heaven and earth i have nothing to hide i see and accept all that i am wow okay so that's that over here putting down the thoughts of unworthiness cutting himself free he has nothing to hide anymore he wants to what tell his emotions before you walk away completely and you're gone what else is he exuding for his feminine energy? Alki, I'm not even going to bother. The goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. So this is the energy of things are happening for me, not to me. Right? He's starting to realize that the breakdowns in relationships are happening for him, not to him. And then we have uh sappho the poet poetess i love my rich sorry i love every inch of my body and i love the woman in my life fiercely so this person this masculine could have a very deep bond with their mother or women in their lives um and again you know his feminine and then we have mary magdalena our Mary Magdalene we have the uh, apostle to apostles I am the bridge between heaven and earth I am fully human and fully divine so this is the masculine stepping into his feminine femininity fully and until he reaches that he can't even come into union so that is a beautiful card to have and he understands like that you are the tree you have you're grounded to the roots and then you're the leaves and you're connected in the 5d and it's this fully understanding that you guys have that kind of bond it's a spiritual bond he knows that well feminines where are you at whoa that is a lot of energy wow i can't Oh my gosh, I can't even look at this. Amor, I'm not even going to try. The goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. That is the definition, sort of, of a twin flame, flame kind of sacred journey. It's the mirroring that you guys are doing here. Okay, let's see. I feel that's for the both of you. Um, feminine Scott, Lady of the Lotus Born. Embodiment in the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. So understanding that you're an enlightened being. And you were probably born to share that. Most people on these sacred journeys are very spiritual. Or they're teachers of some sort when it comes to healing. The mystic of divine love. Love is divine and I am, I am nothing except love. So that's standing in your power, being love and light. Holding space for other people. And everything that's going on in the world right now. That's amazing. The morning star. My ego is in service of my soul. And I trust my soul's divine timing. Um, and this is the divine feminine really standing in her power. And understanding that her God, her divine... You know, whoever it is you pray to has this under control for you. It's trusting the process. They're saying to look at this. So I'm, let's see. Shekinah, the presence of the divine feminine. Oh my goodness, I was wondering why they want me to look at the bottom again because I already got the bottom card. And it says, at center of everything there is light. I am that light. Divine feminine, she got your own card. That is beautiful. Okay, so let's see what um, we'll do. Romance Angels and then we'll pull a couple more and that'll be it. For these two for union, please. For these two. 
What's coming in for these two for union? What's coming in? What's coming in for these two for union? Wow. Very soon. Stay optimistic about your love life. Attraction. And I can't even trust the process. Very soon. Yeah, and keep an open mind. And this person is waiting for, they are your soulmate. Okay. Where's my other? Sorry guys, I moved my cards around today. I wanted to get one more advice. Oh, here they are. They're saying no, don't use that today. Okay, we're going to use these ones. Freedom. Somebody's breaking free. Divine Masculine first. Last messages, please. Messages or advice for the Masculine. Whoa, that's too many. <laughs> Thank you. One of those popped out. Intention and abundance. Intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your request to the universe. And then we have abundance with another rainbow. It says, enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. And then gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. There's that confession. There's the confession. And on the bottom of the deck is balance. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. Okay. Feminines. Messages or advice, please, for the feminines. Thank you. Polarity and support. So let's get this polarity. This is kind of like the yin and the yang, the dark and the light. Uh, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. If you don't understand that, I, I suggest that you do Google that. Then we have growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps to your growth. Be willing to learn from others. So if you guys are just embarking, I'm feeling like this is spiritual. If you're just starting to embark on a spiritual journey, find yourself a teacher and a coach, okay? Adventure. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your, your travel dreams. Move to a new location. Wow, some of you are moving, which I happen to be moving, so that's kind of funny. There might be something that you're trying to manifest, though, when it comes to travel. And then we have support. And I have to read this one because it says magic. Make a wish. Believe in mir miracles. Magic surrounds you. Big time. Support. Ask for help. Get more rest. And nurture yourself. Beautiful. No, they're asking me to still do this. Okay, let's one more for the union. Union. You guys are getting messages through music. You're working on inner child wounds right now. Sound is, pay attention to things that you're hearing because you're getting messages. They're telling me, you're, they're, yeah. Some of you are going through an, an, an ascension and reflecting about what you want, abundance on the bottom. And you're being um, guided through this self-mastery. A lot of you are going through an ascension right now or having an awakening altogether, depending on where you are in your journey. You're being, you're having a lot of inspiration and creative right now. Creativity. Um, and this is a time of reflection. Abundance is coming your way. I have abundance on the bottom. Well, clarity is coming. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Freedom again. Healing. So the masculine got freedom and now it's coming out for the union. We have freedom and healing. You guys are, this is the yin and the yang, okay? This is breaking free and being able to be free together. You're healing. You've healed. And I can't even, what's this card? Wow. Forgiveness is happening between the two of you. And somebody is going to come in and bring communication and clarity to you. Um, for 
way I'm seeing here, it's the masculine coming in, purification, deep, deep reflection and purification and having the strength. Oh my gosh, I can't even, this is why they want me to pick this deck up, to tell their truth. The scales will be balanced, <clears throat> I feel. Okay, guys, that was a long video. Uh, much light uh, laughter. Until uh, next time, stay empowered.